evening and welcome back to Rainbow Investing where we examine a spectrum of ideas to increase your long-term wealth. Now tonight I want to talk about three ideas about money that can actually change your life. And I know that sounds like a grandiose dramatic statement but really these three ideas will help you live your life differently and far more successfully than if you don't understand them or don't know what they are. So before we get going, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We do lots of videos on personal finance and investing, so that sounds like your kind of thing. Or you just want to learn more about these three ideas, make sure you subscribe. And if you find this video useful, make sure you leave a like on it as well. But without further ado, let's get going. So rule number one is time does not equal money. Now this is a really important one because most of us understand money and time as a very similar thing. We work for our money. We get paid per hour or per day or per week. And for most people, that makes up the vast majority of the income that they receive over their entire life. They work Monday to Friday, nine to five, 40 hours a week, and they get paid accordingly. But this doesn't have to be the case. And the richest people in the world do not work for money by exchanging time for it. Becoming wealthy and successful is all about finding diverse streams of income where you don't always have to exchange time for money. A much better way to do it is exchanging time up front for a, for a passive or perpetual source of income. That means you don't always have to work for it. Successful investors do this because their stocks make the money without them having to directly work for it. Successful YouTubers do this by making videos that pay them while they sleep. And successful real estate investors do this because their properties pay them rent while they sleep. So that's the number one thing that you should take out of this video is that time doesn't always have to equal money. And the most successful and the most wealthy people understand this and employ this. So maybe if you're getting all your money from working, exchanging your time, have a think about what other kinds of things you can do to improve your income streams. And having more than one is a really good idea because it will get you there a lot faster. Now, the second idea is spend less than you earn. This is really important because most people think of money as a reward for the time they exchange for it. And they think of it as, as a means to an end. How many people do you know that have either got a raise or a bonus and immediately want to spend it as a reward? Because they view money as just a medium of exchange. You can exchange it for things that make you happy. But money doesn't always have to work like that. Money can be used as a tool. And if you spend less than you earn, your ability to use money as a tool increases. If you want to get your financial life under control and maybe even ahead, this is the number one thing you need to do is make sure you spend less than you earn and save a certain proportion of your income and not just spend it on things that make you happy in the short term, but leave you with nothing in the long term. And that brings me to idea number three. Money can make you money. Money can be used as a tool, not just a medium of exchange. That's really what investing is all about, is money making you more money. If you think about buying an investment property, Sure, you might put down $500,000 for a house, but what can that house then do for you? It can generate you an income of maybe $1,000 a week. And once you put down the 500,000, it actually doesn't cost you any more for the asset. Sure, you might have to spend money on maintenance and bills and things, but that house has just become an asset that will pay you money for eternity. If you wait long enough, you will make over $500,000 back from it and then it's just money in your pocket. So that's what investing is all about, is making your money work for you, making your money make more money. It's not just a medium of exchange, you can use money as a tool. And that's why the most successful people, the most wealthy people understand that money is a tool and they make it work for them rather than just exchanging it for things. Although these ideas seem simple, it's actually a lot of people don't fully understand them because one, school doesn't teach it to us, Two, many of our parents don't understand, so where are we going to learn this stuff? You have to really think about these things and make active changes in your life and how you think about money if you want to get ahead financially. It's all about thinking differently and thinking about how to use money for you rather than how to use money to buy things. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you leave a like on it if you do. I'll be back with some more videos soon, but for now, good night.